Hi, this is Dr. Matar. Today we're going to talk about how to control your cravings in five minutes, sometimes in actually one minute. And uh, this comes from uh, one of our patients, old patients, who worked at a company. Uh, she was a receptionist and she was uh, really overweight. Uh, she suffered from that. She suffered from also many other chronic conditions and lack of energy. She comes to the office uh, with a lot of uh, interest in losing weight. Uh, she wanted to reverse her conditions and see if she can get off medication. Uh, I remember working really closely with her doctors to help her with that. And she managed to do that. But before she managed to do that, she was struggling with cravings. At her desk, she had a drawer that had a lot of different types of candy, uh, protein bars, things that were sweet, things that were crunchy and salty, a lot of different things. And that was a big, big uh, struggle for her. So she always wanted to have something. Uh, between phone calls, she would grab and eat something. And that really sabotaged everything that she was trying to do. So uh, her success was uh, less than optimum for sure. So when we discussed uh, her situation and discovered her really uh, deep-seated habit of eating snacks all day. We wanted to do something about that. And also the fact that she had no energy. So we're thinking about something that could give her energy and the fact that can control uh, and something that can effectively control her habit of eating snacks. So we came up with this idea for her. And uh, by discussing, it, it was actually almost her idea. Uh, she said, do you think this is going to work? I, I thought, okay, it's actually worthy of trying. And what she recommended was, what about if every time I had a craving and I wanted to reach for that uh, uh, candy, I would just stand up and take a walk, like walk away from, from my desk. I said, where are you going to walk to? I mean, you're busy. You're in the middle of your production time. She said, I can easy, easily go to the bathroom and I can easily go to the water fountain and drink some water. I can do that as frequently as I need to. And uh, I said, great, let's do that. So one, you are distracted and it's just a decision. If I have cravings, I stand up and go. And this will distract you from having the, the candy. Uh, she reported the next day that this was actually working. I said, okay, let's build on this. Take anything that is a snack out of your desk. Since you know that you don't, you can actually survive without it. So every time you have that craving, you don't have to reach for it. You can just walk. And uh, so she did that and she uh, did it almost without effort. She called us the next day. She said, day number one, success. Perfect. She called us the next day and the day after that, uh, every day she was reporting success. She comes for her uh, weekly uh, testing and uh, she had lost like four, four pounds or more in one week, one single week. Uh, it's not fat loss necessarily, it could be fat and water, but it's actual weight loss. She was extremely excited and she said, let, let, let's, let's do more of this. I said, what do you have in mind? She says, I can do the bathroom runs, I can do the uh, water fountain runs, but now I can probably schedule about a five minute walk outside of the building, outside of the office, around the block. It takes about five minutes. And I can do that every hour, every two hours. Let me, let me work on this and see how realistic it is based on her workload and schedule. Excellent. She, she did it and she did it successfully. So she was getting up to the bathroom and to the water fountain and out of the building very frequently. So this did a couple of things for her. Number one, she was not sitting for more than an hour at any given time. So that's wonderful because sitting alone can cause you to gain weight. Number two, and cause other things, by the way. Uh, number two, she was actually moving. Number three, she was seeing results, which caused her to be motivated to continue and do more things. So somehow, somewhat for her, that behavioral change caused her to be successful on the plan. And she kept being successful uh, adapting other lifestyle modifications uh, that made a lot of sense to her. And the accumulation of these changes in lifestyle 
cause her to be ultimately successful and she lost all of the weight that she needed to lose and reverse the conditions the uh, chronic conditions that she had i hope this is helpful thank you hi this is dr matar again if you like the video please give it a like and subscribe so you can get the future videos if you're new to the channel what i do here is i discuss cases of my most successful patients who struggled with diet and exercise yet were able to achieve at the end of their programs a well fit and slim life i want the same for you so if you have any questions or comments please send them my way i'd love to hear from you thank you